It's an emotional send-off as the Clark County Sheriff's Department came together to say goodbye to one of their own. On Monday, Chief Deputy John K. Hafer passed away at an area hospital. WLKY's Lauren Adams is live tonight from the Sheriff's Department. She has reaction. Lauren? Good evening to you, Vicki. Certainly a rough day here in Clark County for the folks that knew, loved, and worked with Chief Deputy John K. Hafer. Now, earlier today, in fact, this office right here behind me shut down and closed its doors during the funeral so that all the employees could pay their respects to the man that had done so much for their department. He spent his life as an officer, and fittingly, in death, John K. Hafer was surrounded by officers. Clark County's chief deputy dedicated 33 of his 57 years to that department. K. Aver received a send off with full police and military honors. Every note played, every salute given, executed with respect and gratitude. His men brought to their feet and left in tears when K. Hafer's number. 932, 93. Was dispatched and met with silence. 932 Jeff Deputy John Kenneth K. Hafer Jr., Clark County Sheriff's Office, was called home by God on August 25th, 2014. I've known him since the day he got hired on 33 years ago. Detective Harold Kramer was one of K. Hafer's first partners. He remembers a loving family man and a dedicated officer who he quickly came to regard as a brother. There were times where a he was pulling over a car when we were working third shift. He didn't have to ask for someone to come help him. I was already on the way, and vice versa. He did the same thing. Brian Meyer was a corrections officer back in 1989 when he first met Kay Hafer. Now, in the face of tragedy, he has assumed his mentor's role, and he says it's Kay Hafer that prepared him for it. He wanted you to know that it mattered what you did for the department, and that it all it all counted. For the final time, 93-2. It's 1042. It's the final call. It's the final call. That's what does it. Until that time, you know, that's when you realize that uh, Chief K. Hafer, he's no longer with us. There'll be another 93 2. There will never be another John Kenneth K. Hafer. In addition, Vicki, to his brothers and sisters in law enforcement, Chief K. Hafer leaves behind his wife of 38 years, two daughters, and five grandchildren. In fact, deputies here tell me that before K. Hafer was hospitalized, he was actually in the process of renovating two rooms at his home for his grandson. Those deputies tell me, Vicki, in the days ahead, they plan on finishing those rooms. We're live tonight in Jeffersonville. Lauren Adams, WLKY News.